click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a last numerical which is based on a structures realization of LTI discrete time system in Z domain. Now this is our last numerical and in this we are going to solve a cascade and parallel form. So first of all we will see the question. Now a problem number 6. What is mentioned? Obtain a cascade and parallel relation of LTI system with a transfer function is given h of z 1 plus 5 by 6 z inverse upon 1 minus half z inverse minus half z to the power minus 2. Now we will go for solution. So the last question h of z is 1 plus 5 by 6 z inverse and in denominator we have 1 minus half z inverse minus half z raised to minus 2. Now first of all we will calculate a cascade form. Well, in cascade form, what we want, we want to factorize or we need to factorize numerator as well as denominator. Basically, in numerator, we already have one factor or we can say one term, but in denominator, we have an equation. So, we will factorize the denominator. Now, what you will get? If we factorize this part, then my answer would be 1 minus z inverse and in second bracket we have 1 plus half z inverse. Now how to get this answer or how to obtain these factors I will tell you. Basically we have half at the end or the lowest power of z is having coefficient half. Now or you can say constant half. Basically if we multiply 1 with a half, answer would be half. But the middle term is always addition of these two. So a minus 1 plus half result gives us a minus half and minus 1 into plus half answer is minus half. That's why I have got these factors. I will mark this is my equation number 1. The reason is we require this equation in parallel form. Now we will proceed. Basically in cascade form what we want we want a product of two transfer functions. So let's say my first transfer function is 1 plus 5 by 6 z inverse and the another one is 1 minus z inverse which is in denominator. This is my first transfer function and the second one is here we don't have anything so we'll replace it by 1 and in denominator we will have 1 upon 1 plus half of z inverse and this is nothing but I'll consider it is nothing but the product of two transfer function the first h1 of z is nothing 1 plus 5 by 6 z inverse upon 1 minus z inverse and the second h2 of z transfer function is 1 upon 1 plus half of z inverse now basically as I told you we will always prefer a direct form to structure in while designing a cascade as well as a parallel form now we will design h1 of z and h2 of z by taking help of direct form 2 and I'll connect both this transformation one after one or you can say in series or you can say in cascade. So my h1 of z is 1 plus 5 by 6 z inverse and 1 upon z inverse is in denominator. Now just compare this h1 of z with the standard format of transfer function. What you will get? This will gives us a value of B0 and this 5 by 6 gives us a value of B1. And my A1 value is minus 1. Here also we will compare this H2 of Z equation with a standard transfer function. So we will get B0 value is 1 and after comparing denominator what we will get A1 value is only half. Now we will draw a 2 df one structure. The first one is for h1 of z and another one is for h2 of z.
this is my h1 offset and next part is my h2 offset and both are connected in series or in cascade now in df2 structure the right hand side part is always for b or constant b and left hand side part is for a now so first buffer gives us a value of b0 value and the b0 value is 1 so i'm going to write here inside this block now b1 value is 5 by 6 that will be written over here next one is a1 here a1 is minus 1 and we know that we will always write or we will always multiply minus sign with a1 so minus of minus 1 is plus 1 so this is my plus 1 now we'll move on to h2 of z basically here b0 value is 1 so i'll write it over here inside this buffer and my a1 value is half so after multiplying minus sign with a1 what you will get minus half and this is nothing but my cascade form now in cascade form always two functions are connected in series whereas in parallel form always two functions are connected in parallel that is one by one now we'll move on to parallel form So, parallel form. From equation number 1, we have already calculated this value. We have already factorized the denominator also. Now, in parallel form, we want two different functions, but they must be added with each other. So, how to achieve addition? By just performing a partial fraction. So, here we have two poles, which means we will use two different variables. Let's say A and B are the two different variables and I'm going to write in denominator of A we have will place 1 minus Z inverse and in denominator of B we'll place 1 plus half of Z inverse and I'll represent this is my equation number 2. Now we'll just multiply left hand side denominator on right hand side. Now, now we are going to calculate or we are going to obtain the values of A and B by just substituting the different values of Z inverse. Now, now we are going to replace the value of Z inverse by which value? Look at here. If we want to calculate A, then whole B value must be replaced by 0. All the product with B will be replaced by 0, which means if I place z inverse equals to 1, then 1 minus 1 will get cancelled and this whole product will also give us value 0. So, you will get automatically value of a. Now, so we will substitute z inverse equals to 1. So, this z, all this z will be replaced by 1. But in the last block, as the z is replaced by 1, 1 minus 1 becomes 0 and 0 into b is 0. So, I will replace all this product by 0. Now look at here, 5 by 6 plus 1, after cross multiplying this 6, what you will get? The total outcome on left hand side is 11 by 6. And look at here on right hand side, after cross multiplying all this value, you will get a 3 by 2. Now shift this 3 by 2 on left hand side. So this will be a 2 by 3 multiplied with 11 by 6. Now this 6 can be divided by 2. The answer is 3 and total overall answer of A is 11 by 9. Now similarly we will calculate the value of B. Now, the next part is we want to calculate a value of B or value for B. Now, if I replace this whole Z inverse by minus 2, then 
this half that is 0.5 into minus 2 answer is a minus 1 so this plus sign is also replaced by minus 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0 automatically this whole a into 1 plus half of z inverse replaced by 0 so i'm going to substitute z inverse is by minus 2 now next so all this z inverse will be replaced by minus 2 I have replaced a plus half of 1 plus half of z inverse replaced by 0. Now look at here. We can divide this 6 by 2. Answer is 3. And we know that here the minus sign is multiplied with the plus. So you will get 1 minus 5 by 3 on the left hand side. And on right hand side, what do you get? Minus into minus answer is plus. So 1 plus 2 is 3. Now, just cross multiply this value. So 3 into 1 is 3 and 3 minus 5 is minus 2. So what you will get? Minus 2 by 3. And when I shift this 3 on the left hand side, then my B result is Now substitute the value of a and b in equation number 2. So after substituting the value of a and b in equation number 2, I have got this result. Now as I told you, h1 of z in parallel format what we want the addition of two transfer functions. So let's say 11 by 9 upon 1 minus z inverse is my first h1 of z. And the second part is my h2 of z. Now just compare this h1 of z with the standard form of transfer function. What you can see here my b0 value is 11 by 9 and my a1 value is minus 1. Whereas in h2 of z my b0 value is minus 2 by 9 and my a1 value is half. Now what I am going to do? As I told you, we will always prefer a direct form 2 while designing cascade form and a parallel form. So I will use a direct form 2 for h1 of z and for h2 of z. Now look at here, this first upper block gives us h1 of z value and second was h2 of z value. Now we know that this is the place of b value and here b0 value is 11 by 9. Now here this buffer gives us a value of a1 and here we will always multiply minus sign with a1 so minus into minus 1 gives us a plus 1. Now on next part. In h2 of z, this b0 value is minus 2 by 9, so I will write minus 2 by 9 over here. And my a1 is always multiplied by minus sign, so this plus half is replaced by minus half. So I am writing outside this block by connecting one wire. And at the end, both the values will be added. So I'll use a summation. So this is all about a cascade form and a parallel form. The first three videos or first three numericals are based on DF1 and DF2 and next three videos are totally based on cascade and parallel. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.